The days of glamorizing the tech industry are over. Here is a harsh reality of working as a data scientist. I will present to you eight things that you need to know before accepting any role in this industry. And I would highly recommend you watching this entire video through as knowing these tips would have helped me avoid countless career mistakes. Let's get straight into it. So firstly, data science is an extremely ambiguous field. The same job title can mean completely different things between two different companies. And because of this ambiguity, it is very common for employers to list all the trendy buzzwords in their job descriptions in hopes to attract the best talent. Many businesses are also jumping on this bandwagon and hiring for data scientists without having the proper quality data foundations ready or even really knowing how to utilize a data science team at all. So my biggest tip for you is when you are applying for a data science role, make sure you are reading the job description very carefully, asking the hiring manager what your specific deliverables will be for the role, and more importantly, how mature the company is from a data standpoint. Next, imposter syndrome is real and completely normal. There are always going to be things that you don't know. Honestly, every time I'm on LinkedIn or Stack Overflow, even just casually browsing on my phone, I feel like there is a seemingly unending number of data science frameworks and languages. But the reality is that nobody is good at everything. All you have to do is pick a very small set of skills and just get very, very comfortable with those. And then instead, when you're faced with something that you don't know, don't go all hard on yourself. Try and embrace this as an opportunity to learn something new and know that you are not alone when it comes to feeling like an imposter. Next, data is really, really messy. In uni, I was always dealing with clean, perfectly curated data sets that almost felt like they were constructed just to give the right amount of statistical significance. But out in the workforce, nobody prepares you for how messy real life data actually is. Data cleaning is an extremely long and tedious process with a lot of things that need to be verified, for example, incorrect, missing or duplicate data. We often need to join multiple data sources together and also identify which fields correspond to which. And depending on where you work, there may or may not be a data dictionary. So it's really on you and the rest of the data science team to figure out what everything is via a test and learn process. And adding to that, column names and values are often very unclear. And trust me, you'll be spending a lot of time figuring out the little nuances between variables such as timestamps and wondering why every single table has a slightly different version of the timestamp field. Just know that working in analytics, we are pretty much the last line of defense before work goes out to our non-technical stakeholders and we can't report or build predictive models on incorrect data because garbage in equals garbage out. Carrying on from my previous point, even collecting the data is extremely difficult. Again, depending on your company, you may or may not have data engineers who can support the API process and ETL pipelines to transform the raw data for you, but in some other cases, you might be on your own. Data can also be stored across multiple different data sources and warehouses or via third-party integrations. And as a data scientist, it's really on you to speak to multiple stakeholders to figure out what data sits where and then decipher exactly what you are going to do with all this data that you now have. My next one is a big one, and this is something I wish I knew before, but if your executives at your company do not believe in the power of data, then I would really think twice before joining the company. I hate to break it to you, but if you don't have buy-in at the top level, then your fancy machine learning project isn't going to happen. Remember that nobody is going to sign off on a project unless it's on your company's plan on a page or directly adding value of some sort. Otherwise, you might be spending your days with extremely mundane data analysis work. Nothing wrong with that, but it might just be different to what you signed up for. Next, not all of the work that you do will be productionized or adopted by the business. And this is an important one to keep in mind. Even if your project has been signed off by all the executives and you think it's ready to go, there may always be last minute changes in company priorities as the economy changes. And then you might think that all the time spent into working on a project for it not to be implemented is now wasted. I know this can be extremely discouraging, but try to not think of it as a loss, but more so as a growth opportunity where you can now learn from what's happened. It is only natural and could be completely out of your control. And I've seen this happen to many, many of my colleagues. My seventh point, I believe, is that fancy machine learning algorithms is going to be very little of your day-to-day -day job. Modeling is already such a small part of the entire data science lifecycle, taking up only 10 to 20%, and that's only if you are working on a complete model build. Um, most of your time will be spent supporting pillars across the business, 
possibly working with your non-technical stakeholders to identify what their pain points are in their day-to-day -day jobs and identifying the other areas in which data can better benefit your business. Another realization that I had was a lot of job descriptions ask for deep knowledge of R or Python or machine learning techniques. And in all your uni courses, you might be learning coding languages. But in my day-to-day -day job, I see myself using SQL extremely heavily and then exporting the output into Excel or Google Sheets as it's just an easy way for our non-technical stakeholders to digest and interpret this data. And lastly, it is super important to advocate for yourself and convey the impact that your work is adding to the business. Trust me, no one else cares for your career more than you do. Not your parents, not your friends, not your manager. Ultimately, doing your 9 to 5 and hitting the KPIs just isn't enough in today's society anymore. You need to highlight how your work is helping the business and try to get recognized for it if you can. This is crucial for your career development and securing that pay rise and promotion when your review cycle comes around. So that's all that I have for today. I hope that this video has helped some of you who are considering a career into the data science field. Um, just know that I'm not trying to demotivate any of you from taking a job. I just really wanted you to know the realities of what it is actually like to work as a data scientist because honestly, the tech industry is way over glamorized. These are things that would have helped me save countless career mistakes and just hours of doubting myself. So yeah, hopefully this can help some of you out there. As always, take care, stay safe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.